What's up guys, Flippin' Steve here. It's been a while since I have put out a video, probably at least a month or more, maybe two months, I'm not really sure. But you guys know I always talk about what I'm doing with doing in the hobby and with the hobby. I haven't been doing a lot lately. I have been buying. I haven't been doing the mail days because the cards have been coming in staggered and being sent out to be graded, uh, you know, as they're coming in. So I really haven't had much to put together uh, all into one video. But today we do have a seven card SGC return. I'll show you guys this return here and you'll get an idea of the type of cards that I'm buying and grading right now. Not a lot of sports stuff. In fact, this whole video is not going to be any sports cards, but cards that I think do have some potential, especially for me myself to move at the Atlanta Culture Collision Show, which I will be attending in January. If you didn't know, we'll be setting up there as a dealer again. So guys, stick around, see what kind of stuff I've been grading. Some of it's cool. It's really neat. More collector oriented than it is, uh, you know, sports card players to flip quickly and to flip now. Types of cards that I want to buy and target with collectors. Stay tuned, guys. We'll take a look. Crazy Daisy. Are we excited to be doing a video again? Cards? Hmm? It's been a while. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Crazy Daisy in the house. She keeps trying to go under the stool. Guys, we're going to go ahead and tear into this SGC order really quickly. I did touch on the fact that I haven't been doing a lot with sports card lately. I haven't been flipping many sports cards. This is all non-sports. Um, and I know you guys really used to tune into my channel for my ideas and my thoughts. Some of the unique stuff I used to talk about with sports cards. So with that being said, I would like to recommend another channel called SCV Sports Cards. Um, it's, it's a very insightful channel. Has some out-of-the-box ideas. And, is a, and it is a guy who constantly is still continuing to flip modern sports cards, which is something that a lot of you guys like to do and used to watch me. So I would like to turn you on to some of that uh, that information that he's putting out over there on his channel. You can go check it out. I will say it's not necessarily for the faint of heart or the uh, if you're sensitive, because he is very quick and to the point and very real, which is what I like about him. So that's always what I've tried to portray on my channel. Just puts out there what he's actually doing, whether you would agree with it, dislike it, um, or whatever. He's just straightforward with what he's doing and what he's flipping, which was always my philosophy as well. I'm not saying that he's um, like me or his channel's like mine, but we are very like-minded. Uh, like so if you enjoyed my content, especially in the past, go over and check his out. I don't shout out many channels, and I've never spoken to him about his channel, but it's really one of the um, content creators that I've really tended to start watching lately. So I just wanted to uh, talk about that real quick. Let's not waste any more, more of your time. Get into these cards here. Uh, we got the packing slip on top. And we will start from, let's see. We'll go through them like this. Put them, whoop, put them down. And then we will start from the top like this. So. These are all autograph cards, non-sports, things that I hope to get a slab on to increase the value, then find a collector who would like to buy these cards already slabbed. The most important part about this order is the autograph grades. I'm hoping to get all 10s on the autos. If the cards grade 9 plus, that's great, but they're also very sensitive condition cards as they're mostly cardboard cards and not chrome cards. So we might see some 9s, some 8s. Hopefully we get 9, 5s, and 10s, but... The autograph 10 grade is what's popular. The first card is a Goodwin's Champions, Phil Helmuth, the Poker Bad Boy. This is a 9.5 with an auto 10. Uh, inexpensive card to buy, inexpensive slab, but I think the combination, find somebody who likes poker, likes Phil Helmuth, I'll be able to make a little bit on this. And a nice little grade with the 10 auto. Next up, you see Anna Paquin on the back, True Blood. It is... Sookie Stackhouse from the books, from the TV show. Again, there is a popularity there. There is a fan base there. Auto 10, grade 9. And who doesn't like to buy cards of attractive females, right? Next, we have everybody's fan favorite, whether it's from Game of Thrones or Marvel. Kit Harrington really gaining popularity in all aspects out there. I have one of these already. This is the same card and the same grade. So now I have two of these in a nine with an auto 10. Clean looking auto, clean looking card. Looks great in the tux. Enough said about the Kit Harrington Game of Thrones. We have Walking Dead here. These two cards are identical. This is the very first 
Uh, autographed Walking Dead card of Andrew Lincoln. And we get 9.5 with auto 10s on both. I'll put one of these over here and bring one of them closer so you can see. This card, from what I understand from the people who collect these cards, is also very important because it's the only autographed card of him wearing his hat, which is actually an iconic prop from the TV series. I haven't watched much Walking Dead, but I do know that much. Cool looking card. His first year, as it says season two, but he didn't sign in the season one cards. I think season one cards only had two or three autographs in there. And um, yeah, Andrew Lincoln, the Rick Grimes. Here we have a uh, another Walking Dead card. This is when they came over from Cryptozoic and Tops now owned the license. And this is Jeffrey Dean Morgan who played Negan, who was like the villain. Then he became really popular. He's still in some of the spinoff shows. This one's numbered out of 99. And again, another great grade. I'll take this 9.5 Mint Plus with the 10 Auto all day long. He has other cards that look exactly like this one that are a little lower in serial number, like numbered out of 25. But for some reason, the lower serial numbers are sticker autos, and the one out of 99 is on card. So I would prefer a card out of 99 with an on card auto as opposed to a sticker auto and it being numbered out of 25. And last but not least, this is the card that I submitted for a friend of mine. This is a Star Wars masterwork. This is Thrawn, Lars Mickelson. If you just watched the recent uh, Ahsoka Tano series, they introduced Thrawn into the Star Wars universe, at least live action. And this is Lars Mickelson. Now, this is the animated card, but the 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 actor that the voice actor is actually also the actual um, live action actor in the in the series, which is going to lead into a movie. Again, this is a friend of mine had me submit this for them. He's a Star Wars fan, and he gets the auto ten again on the Lars Mickelson. So there we go. We got some Star Wars. We got some Walking Dead, some Game of Thrones, little True Blood, and. You know, some poker, the poker brat, Phil Hellmuth. Everybody loves to hate him or they hate to love him. Either way you look at it, guys, tell me what you think below. Tell me what you've been doing. Hopefully, I'll have another video coming out because I do have some stuff coming in the mail. And I'll be able to get some more content out to you guys more frequently. I know there's been a dry spell here. I've just been really busy, but I have missed it. I have missed interacting with you guys. Still check us out every other Wednesday on Off Centered with me, Dustin, and Neo. This is the only time I've actually gotten to interact with you guys lately, and it's been a blast, and hopefully some more videos will, will be in the works. All right, guys, I'll see you next time around. Like and subscribe on your way out, or not. Take care of yourself. I'll see you.